Welcome back to the channel. It's really good to have you guys here and a big welcome to all the new subscribers. Thanks so much for joining us on our, our merry journey around the world. Today we are in Patia itself and we're going to make our way from Patia all the way back through to John Tien. So currently, as you can see, we're on the main beach road here in Patia. Beautiful sunset there off to the right and what a lovely day it is. Uh, obviously what comes to a lovely day is lovely traffic. So join us on the ride and I'll try and talk you through as we go. It is quite a lovely beach, I have to say. The one thing I would say is I personally wouldn't want to swim here. It's not quite as sort of clear as perhaps bits of John Tiena and certainly not Kola on the island. That's absolutely beautiful blue seas. But, you know, if you like to swim in the sea, nothing wrong with it. What I like to do, however, is sit in a bar, have a beer and look at this beautiful sunset and just watch life go by. What a way to go, eh? What a way to go. I have to say one thing that did surprise me when we were out today was that how many people are about considering this is supposedly the low season it's pretty busy if i'm honest you don't kind of feel the same busyness perhaps in john tien it does feel substantially quieter but yeah i'm quite impressed although we're not really going to see it up ahead directly we're going to be turning left is in fact the main walking streets of patia so if you're up for a nightlife loads of nightclubs that kind of thing that's the place for you it's very loud, it's a very eye-opening, shall we just say that? It's, it's bright and, yep, you'll certainly have an experience. There we go, right now, hardly be able to see it, but there it was, Walking Street. So we're heading now, as I say, back to John Tien. This is Patia's second road, and we're heading up a little bit towards third road, as you'll see in just a couple of minutes. You can see the kind of traffic you in experience, and this is fairly standard. You, you probably won't get much better than this, generally speaking. Unless, of course, you're up early in the morning, where everyone's asleep, it's probably till about 10 o'clock. That's when you get an ease of traffic. This particular part of Patio, there's an awful lot of Indian restaurants, Indian eateries, so if that's your kind of food, this is the place for you to come. Another little thing that little area has uh, in common with life is that there are a lot of people there who don't understand road rules and, as I say, headless chickens probably have more sense. But just be a little bit careful in that particular area because pedestrians are, they're very, I suppose the way they walk around in India where they don't really look anywhere, it's very, very, very similar. So just be careful when you're going that route. That's all I'm saying. So if you go straight up the hill, that's the big Buddha on the hill in Pratamak Hill. We're not going that way. We're heading on left now. Now I know on other rides we've taken you different routes. We've gone from John Tien to the dark side all the way, the way back round John Tien if you like. This is the main arterial road that I've told you about before, the Prior Road, which we're going to be turning on to shortly, this one here. And this is the main arterial road between Pattaya Centre itself and then John Tien, which is up ahead. And then beyond that is Na John Tien. Hopefully it gives you a little perspective of, of where we are. And I'd say, generally speaking, this road can be okay to ride on, to be fair. Just, I suppose, it congregates around the traffic lights, as does all traffic. So off to the right that you can't see, that is, in fact, Pratamnak, which we've shown you before. This is now going back down to the Prior Road, which, again, we showed you on the very first video when we went over to the dark side. So hopefully some of this is coming back. So what we planned today was a particular plan to go to the um, Wombat and Kiwi Bar, which is an Australian and New Zealand bar, which we'd heard about. We had, in fact, we saw it on the back of a Bart bus, or as Thais called them, a Songtao. 
and we thought, hey, why not have a look? So I've heard about it before, so that's where we're on our way to right now. We're now joined up with John Tien Beach Road, and it's so nice to see that sun. It looks gray sky and so forth, guys, but honestly, it's lovely and warm. As you may notice, the traffic and population of the population, if you like, is, is a lot lower here because, as I say, it's off season. You do tend to feel it more in places like John Tien, whereas I must admit, I never felt it when we were in Patio. But that's not my ideal place anyway, so this suits me far better. And here is the grand arrival at the Wombat and Kiwi Bar that I've heard so much about. It's advertised on loads of the old song towels. However, as you may see in just a moment, we encountered a little issue in that uh, it was busy, really busy. What? What? Say some. Hi. So we're going to try this place here, the Wombat and Kiwi Bar that we saw on the same time, and uh, it's quite busy. A few words spoken there that probably shouldn't be heard in the general public, so uh, we have to bleep them out, as they say. Oh, bad. Now, when a place is full, that's not always a bad thing, I have to say, so it's good for business, obviously, especially in low season, so good luck to them. We decided we'd uh, try and find somewhere a little bit less crowded and have a quiet beer and maybe play some pool. Let's see what happens. So we're joining back here on Jomti and Second Road and we've turned left. So we're effectively heading back into Patia, but we're not going that way. We're gonna take a little diversion. On our right here is Rompo Market, which is great for evening food, very freshly cooked food, fantastic little place. It is a bar complex as well, if that's your thing, you can go there as well, have a little fun. I have said before, and I'll say again, I don't consider it the best place to go at night. There's a far better places to go, including where we're gonna end up, the road on Thapraya. This particular road here coming up now on the left, I think gives you a lot more bang for buck. It's a much better place, much better bars, and price is pretty comparable. You have a lot more entertainment, frankly. As you may see above Sharples, that's a fish and chip shop, which I've never tried, but we probably will, and probably will review it at some point. Nothing like good fish and chips. Haven't found good fish and chips here yet, but hey, jury's out. couple of chaps there uh, getting a bit friendly with Snow, which uh, annoyed her somewhat. She was uh, not very pleased that they decided they thought it was okay just to flirt with her in the street. But this is what you expect in Patio, unfortunately. There is an element of that which you just can't avoid. So this is a new bar. It's uh, it's close. It's, it's, technically, it's it's a gents club, but you know it's very new. So therefore, there's not a lot of ladies, which is ideal for us because what we like about it is the brand new decor, the pool table, the price of the beers is great. So while it's still new, it's a great place for us to go. But in the future, I'm sure this will be very successful. So we've passed fast forwarded through this game because Snow is very very competitive. She doesn't like to lose, so. I'm afraid she had to accept her fate today because, um, yes, I did win. Sorry, Snow. So guys, a quick thank you to everyone who's watched this video so far. I'm glad you're still here. Please continue to share, please continue to subscribe and join us next time for uh, some more exciting adventures.